Welcome to InfoSec Guardians. Today, we're diving into common types of malware, key threats that you need to know to strengthen your cybersecurity defenses. We'll cover some of the most prevalent and impactful types of malware, giving you a clear understanding of these threats and why it's crucial to protect against them. Before we start, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity. Your support helps us keep bringing you valuable content. Let's dive in. Let's start with a quick introduction to what we mean by malware. Malware is a broad term that refers to any malicious software designed to harm, exploit, or compromise computer systems. Whether it's stealing data, disrupting operations, or providing unauthorized access, malware is a serious threat to both individuals and organizations. Some of the most common types of malware we'll be discussing today include viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, adware, spyware, rootkits, and botnets. Each of these has its own methods and impacts, so understanding them is key to defending against them. First up, we have viruses. A virus is a type of malware that attaches itself to a legitimate file or program and spreads when that file or program is executed. The key characteristic of a virus is that it requires user interaction to spread. It doesn't move on its own. The impact of a virus can range from corrupting data to disrupting system functionality. Viruses can be particularly dangerous because they often go undetected until significant damage has been done. One infamous example is the Melissa virus, which spread in 1999 through infected Word documents. This virus caused widespread damage by overloading email servers and corrupting data. Next, let's talk about worms. Unlike viruses, worms are self-replicating. They don't need any user interaction to spread. Worms can move across networks, exploiting vulnerabilities in systems to spread from one computer to another. The impact of a worm can be devastating. They can cause network congestion, exhaust system resources, and lead to significant disruptions. A well-known example is the WannaCry worm from 2017, which exploited a vulnerability in Windows systems and spread globally causing billions of dollars in damage. Moving on to Trojans, also known as Trojan horses. Trojans are a bit different. They disguise themselves as legitimate software to trick users into installing them. Once a Trojan is executed, it can perform a variety of malicious actions, like creating backdoors, stealing data, or even giving remote control of the system to attackers. Trojans don't replicate like viruses or worms, but their deceptive nature makes them highly effective. A famous example is the Zeus Trojan, which was used to steal banking credentials, leading to substantial financial losses worldwide. At this point, you might be wondering how all these types of malware fit under the broader term malware. Malware is essentially an umbrella term for any software that is designed with malicious intent including everything we've talked about so far. The impact of malware can be wide-ranging, from data breaches and financial losses to severe system damage. For instance, the Stuxnet malware is an example of highly sophisticated malware that was designed to target and damage Iran's nuclear program. This case highlights how malware can be used not just by criminals, but also in state-sponsored attacks. Now. Let's discuss ransomware, a particularly nasty type of malware. Ransomware works by encrypting files or locking users out of their systems and then demanding a ransom to restore access. The impact can be catastrophic, especially for organizations that rely on continuous access to their data and systems. For example, the Ryuk ransomware has targeted hospitals disrupting critical operations and costing millions of dollars in damages. Ransomware attacks often force organizations into a difficult position, either pay the ransom or lose access to vital data. Adware is a bit different from what we've discussed so far. 
Adware automatically displays or downloads advertisements, usually without the user's consent. While it's often considered less harmful than other types of malware, it can still be quite disruptive. Adware can slow down your system, disrupt your user experience, and even collect data about your browsing habits. An example of this is the Fireball Adware, which turned millions of web browsers into ad machines, hijacking users' search engines, and displaying unwanted ads. Spyware, as the name suggests, is designed to spy on users. It secretly monitors and collects information, often without the user's knowledge or consent. The impact of spyware can be severe, leading to privacy breaches, identity theft, and unauthorized access to sensitive information. One notorious example is the Pegasus spyware, which was used to target journalists and activists, accessing their personal data without their knowledge. Spyware can be difficult to detect, making it a persistent threat. Rootkits are a particularly insidious type of malware. They grant unauthorized access to a computer and are designed to hide their presence within the operating system. This makes them extremely difficult to detect and remove. Rootkits are used by attackers to maintain persistent access to systems, often for long-term exploitation. A famous example is the Sony BMG Rootkit which was installed via music CDs and created serious security vulnerabilities by hiding itself deep within the system. Lastly, let's talk about botnets. A botnet is a network of compromised computers, known as bots, that are controlled remotely by attackers. These botnets are often used to carry out large-scale attacks, such as distributed denial-of-service DDoS attacks, which can cause widespread disruptions. The Mirai botnet, for example, was responsible for one of the largest DDoS attacks in history, taking down major websites like Twitter, Reddit, and Netflix in 2016. Botnets can be incredibly powerful tools for attackers, leveraging the computing power of thousands or even millions of compromised machines. As we wrap up, it's clear that malware significantly threatens individuals and organizations. Knowing the different types, from viruses to botnets, is essential for effective defense, with continuous education and awareness being key. Here's a summary table of key malware characteristics and impacts, serving as a quick reference for identifying and combating these threats.